Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 12 states, the combined effect of resistive components in circuits can help to determine how the circuit performs when connected to a power supply. We have a diagram with a combination of resistors in series and parallel. And then the question states, calculate the total resistance of the resistor network in the DC circuit. Now when we approach this question, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our parallel resistors which is this block here, and we're going to determine the single resistance that would replace those three resistors. So I'm just going to start with a rough sketch of our circuit. And in that circuit, we have a one kilo ohm resistor. We have a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. And then we have this single resistor that we're going to determine for those parallel components. Now the way that we determine the single resistance that will replace those is using the following equation. We have 1 over RT, the total resistance, equals 1 over R1, plus 1 over R2, plus 1 over R3. That's the formula that we use to determine the single resistance for resistors in parallel. So let's add some numbers in there. We have 1 over RT, RT being the thing we're trying to find, equals 1 over 12. Now I am going to work in kilo ohms. Next I have 1 over 2.2. And finally I have 1 over 10. Now adding all of that together I get 1 over RT equals... 0 0.63788. However, we've not yet arrived at the final answer because in order to get RT on its own, I need to do 1 over that value. So RT is 1 over 0 0.63788, giving me a value of RT equal to 1.5677 and my units there are kilo ohms. So we can add that to our diagram 1.5677 and again our units are kilo ohms. Now all we have, if we refer to our diagram, is we have three resistors in series. We have a 1 kilo ohm, a 2.2 kilo ohm, and a 1.5677 kilo ohm. So now, to find the total resistance in the circuit, all I need to do is add those three together. If I call this resistor R1, and I call this resistor R2, and this new resistor I'll call R3, 4, Five, because it was the combinations of resistors 3, 4 and 5 and I can say that RT, the total, is just R1 plus R2 plus R3, 4, 5 the sum of the series resistors and that will give me 1 plus 2.2 plus 1.5677 which equals a total of 4.7677 and my units for that are kilo ohms. 